After the Big Bang that occurred about 13.8 million years ago, human evolution took its toll ending with us, the Homo sapiens sapiens, meaning the wise man. We are the most complex beings on this planet. Standing on our own two feet, we are the ones bound to dominate and shape it. How did we get here is a very long and puzzling story to be told. Most of the information we get about mankind or the human evolution is through studies of ancient apertures, fossils and primitive tools. There are more than 30 human species that scientists have found through these studies. Starting with the first gorillas that appeared 8 million years ago, let us look at the timeline of these species. If you are looking for more precise descriptions, make sure to check out our previous videos on the various types of human species where you will find more detailed information of each and every one of them. And do not forget to hit like and subscribe. 7 million years ago, the Earth was introduced with the oldest hominid species which had both ape-like and human-like features. They lived in Africa up to about 6 million years ago and they were named Sahelanthropus chidensis. The species had an upright body and small canine teeth. The species that came next was Auroran tugenensis. This is another species that lived in Africa and existed for a short period from 6.2 to about 6 million years ago. The fossil of the upper femur found showed evidence of bone built up typical of a biped, so individuals of this species climbed trees but also probably walked upright. Around 5.8 to 5.2 million years ago, another species walked the earth. Ardipithecus cadaba was named with the meaning the oldest ancestor. A toe fossil of this species also suggests individuals were bipedal. Before the new species was found, there was a gap in the timeline since no new species were found yet existing at the time. Although evolution continued giving us Ardipithecus ramidus, which existed around 4.4 million years ago. This species also lived for a short period and had a small brain with a flat cranial base. Besides being upright walkers, individuals of this species were also really good climbers. After a few million years, sexual dimorphism was visible in a species named Australopithecus animensis, which is the earliest known Australopith. Living between 4.2 to 3.8 million years ago, long forearms and features of the wrist bones suggest these individuals probably climbed trees as well besides walking upright. Then came Australopithecus afarensis with ape-like face proportions, a brain case of less than 500 cubic centimeters along with long arms and curved fingers and stood regularly on their two feet. They lived between 3.85 to 2.95 million years ago. This is one of the longest lived early human species. Because this species lived so long, a few more other timeline overlaps suggesting they might have met each other. Australopithecus prometheus lived between 3.6 to 3.2 million years ago. Characteristics of this species include an upward-oriented shoulder girdle, ape-like arms and curved hand and foot bones which proved that they were also used to climbing. Kenyanthropus platyops also lived in the same time range as that of A. afarensis but lived only from 3.5 to 3.2 million years ago in Kenya. Individuals of this species had a more orthognathic face. Living for a million years from 3 to 2 million years ago, we have Australopithecus africanus. First fossils were found in South Africa suggesting they lived there. The name Australopithecus africanus means southern ape of Africa and the face of the individuals were prognathic but heavily buttressed for chewing a tougher diet although teeth were smaller. Right before they disappeared, 2.7 million years ago, a new species came into living and they were the Paranthropus Ethiopicus. They lived up to 2.3 million years ago and only from a fossil of a mandible found, scientists could tell us that they had a flat cranial base with a small brain, long molars and a prognathic face. By 2.6 million years ago, the species had already begun to use tools. These tools were simple stone flakes and cores used for purposes such as cutting and crushing. 
Australopithecus garhi was a part of that age living in Africa from 2.4 to 2.6 million years ago, since the first tools to have ever been produced were in Ethiopia. Individuals had long ape-like arms, small brain and human-like longer legs and robust cranial, facial and dental characteristics. Next up is the first of the Homo species, Homo habilis. Living between 2.4 to 1.2 million years ago, some studies suggest that the first stone tools may have been introduced by this species. They evolved in Africa and went extinct in the same. Dating all the way back to 2.3 to 1.2 million years ago are the Proranthropus boisei. This is another species whose timeline overlaps with more than three other species. Fossils related to the species have been found in so many sites and showed that their skulls had the most pronounced masticatory adaptations. The last of the Australopithecus is Australopithecus sediba. This species lived between 1.97 to 1.98 million years ago, which is a very brief period but the fossils were so precise that scientists could see how entire skeletons looked like near the time when Homo evolved and said that this species may give us a lot of information on the origin of the genus Homo. Between 1.8 to 1.2 million years ago, the species that lived were the Puranthropus robustus. This species had very large megadont teeth along with large cheekbones and small vertebral bodies. Coming to the evolution of the Homo species, which is our own species, we have Homo rudolfensis. They lived between 1.9 million to 1.8 million years ago and displayed less prognathism and a rounder brain case. Due to the scarcity of cranial fossils, their physical build, weight and height are still not clear. Homo georgicus, otherwise known as Manisi man, is a species that dates back to 1.8 million years ago. Scientists say this may represent a link between Homo habilis and Homo erectus and are associated with a total of 73 tools. By 800,000 years ago, the species had discovered fire and Homo erectus were probably the first to ever use it. This new tool helped them with cooking and even kept them warm and away from the predators. Homo erectus, the first to ever migrate out of Africa. They lived throughout the Pleistocene period from about 1.9 million to 143,000 years ago. By this time, the cranial capacity had increased and they may have been the first kinds to use rafts across oceans. They also had dexterous fingers and longer legs. Homo ergaster was the species whose bodies were so much alike to the modern humans. They lived between 1.8 to 1.4 million years ago and remained stable for approximately 500,000 years in Africa before disappearing from the fossil record around 1.4 million years ago. They had thinner bones, more protrusive face and lower forehead. Homo gotengensis The actual timeline of this species has not been defined but some say they lived approximately between 1.2 to 1 million years ago. They were pretty short and had a small brain and most researchers believed they lacked in speech and language skills especially due to the same. Homo antecessor is a species that lived between 1.2 to 0.8 million years ago. Due to scarcity of their fossils, a little is known about their physical appearance. Studies show that they might have been right-handed and used a symbolic language to communicate. The first species to have ever adapted to the cold are the individuals of Homo heidelbergensis. They walked on Earth between 700,000 and 200,000 years ago and might have also been the first to build their own shelters and the first to have buried the dead. Homo sapronensis, or also known as the Soprano Man, was estimated to have lived between 50,000 to 500,000 years ago. The cranial features on the bones seem to be intermediate between those found on Homo erectus and Homo heidelbergensis, although some argue it was ancestral to Homo neanderthalensis. Homo rodensiensis. This extinct hominin species is said to have lived between 400,000 and 125,000 years ago. It was so named because it was found in northern Rhodesia, now known as Zambia. Homo naledi is the most recently discovered human relative found to have existed between 300,000 and 200,000 years ago. 
they had a surprising combination of features with modern and archaic traits. Denisova hominin or the Denisovans lived between 200,000 to 50,000 years ago. The only thing known about them is that they lived in the Denisova cave in the Atlai Mountains in Siberia. Homo neanderthalensis or the Neanderthals were found to have emerged at least 400,000 years ago in Eurasia and existed up to 30,000 years ago after the advent of modern humans. They are sometimes labelled the cousin of our species and are also the most famous of all the extinct human species. A subspecies of the Homo sapiens that went extinct were the Homo sapiens Ivaltu. They lived approximately 160,000 years ago in Pleistocene Africa and were said to have developed from the Homo rodensiensis. Homo floresiensis is a species whose individuals are only about 3 feet tall and were also called the hobbits. They lived in Indonesia around 95,000 years ago to 17,000 years ago. Homo luzonensis, locally called Ubak after a mythical caveman, is an extinct species of archaic human that lived in the Philippines. They probably lived between 50,000 to 60,000 years ago. The famous Red Deer Cave people were the most recent known prehistoric population that do not resemble modern humans and are the most recent known archaic human to go extinct. Their fossils date to approximately 11,500 years ago. Some sources say they may be a hybrid of the Denisovans and modern humans, but attempts to sequence their DNA have not proved successful. Many species have walked on this earth millions of years ago and 300,000 years ago we finally came into existence. Homo sapiens sapiens are the last surviving species of the genus. By the time we evolved, brains were so much larger and individuals were able to think quicker and outlived all the other species by quickly filling all habitable places on the planet, shaping it into our liking. And that is how we came into existence. Climate and competition may have wiped out all the other hominin species, but they will always be a part of our family tree. Another reminder, if you are looking for more precise descriptions of these species, make sure to check our previous videos on human species where more detailed information is provided for each and every one of them. Thanks for watching guys. Do support us by hitting like and subscribe and turning on the notification bell. See you soon in our next video.